This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... To, to me, this is a reminder that our critics, or Free Keen's critics, serve a useful purpose. I don't have time to go out there and investigate everybody and everything that's being done inside the Free State movement. I have a general sense that most of it is good, and probably a minority of it is not. But folks like this who don't really like what we're doing are motivated to look into us and really find whatever warts are there. In most cases, what happens is they find stuff that none of us really care about. And that is sort of the case here. She's sort of, you know, just a reminding all of us that after, after all our effort, the worst she could come up with was, oh, there's an LLC and it's in New Mexico. And I think Ian is shady. That's what you call a skeleton in the closet? To me, it's sort of like the, 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 the reading up I did on Yugoslavia before the first time I went there. I guess it wasn't really even Yugoslavia at that point. Uh, you know, I, I used to read Misha Glenny's articles and books and stuff about uh, the situation in Croatia. And he had a lot of negative things to say about Croatia and its government and so forth. But... It was listening to these critics of Croatia that led me to a strange sort of sympathy for this place. Because it was their backhanded compliments, their admission of the many charms of this place, uh, that led me to fall in love with this extremely flawed country, and even with some of its tormentors. Uh, the fact is the very best sources of uh, uh, information about something you're looking into are going to be the opponents of that thing. You want someone you can turn to who's going to take the most powerful shot possible against the organization that you're looking into and find out every all the bad things they have to say. And then after you've heard all those things, that's when you can most uh, comfortably and confidently say, you know, I think I kind of like this organization or I think I kind of like this country. This is why I'm so glad that the Stop Freaking uh, web page is up, you know, on, on face, Facebook. Um, I read it, you know, now and then, and I, you know, sometimes I will find things there that really are troubling and that do really help steer me away from certain free staters. You know, they have actually succeeded in uh, naming some, uh, some concerns and, and problems. I tend to not care so much about the, oh, I hate these people because they're annoying type conflict, type comments, you know, yes, I recognize that freaking can be annoying, but I don't really care about that too much. Uh, what's what's more interesting is when they, they think they've dug up some sort of actual harmful fraud that may have been committed by someone or, or whatever. Uh, and I and I valued this email that I got from Kimberly, uh, even though I didn't I didn't see a lot of really troubling concerns there. It's just fun to have uh, and constructive to have this dialogue, this free exchange of ideas and accusations. My body! My property! You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keen's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.